Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today I will demonstrate you how to create the procedure in PLSQL to insert the record. So first of all, I want to just check my data. So I have one table and the table name is that is employees. Now I want to insert the record into this employee table and that is employee number, name, job, salary and department number and that I want to insert using procedure. So how we can create the procedure? It is very simple. Let me move to sublime. So here I am just writing that create or replace procedure. Then you can give the name of your procedure. For example, my name of my procedure is employees underscore insert. Then here you can provide the list of the parameters. So I'm just writing here that is parameter employee number and the data type of the employee number is that is employees dot employee number percentage type. Then another one is that is employee name. Data type of the parameter employee name is employees dot employee name percentage type. Then parameter that is job. Data type is employees dot job percentage type. Then you can add the parameter salary and the data type of the P cell is employees dot salary percentage type. And then the last parameter that is P DNO that is the department number employees dot department number percentage type. Now here you can write as is the keyword. Then you can start your procedure using begin keyword and you can end the procedure with the end keyword. Now here you can write insert into which table you want to insert. I want to insert into employees. So I'm just writing here insert into employees in which column you want to insert. I want to insert into employee number, employee name, job, salary and department number. And what is the values that you want to insert? So I'm just writing here values in employee number. I want to insert parameter employee number in employee name. I want to insert parameter employee name in job. I want to insert parameter job in salary. I want to insert the P cell and in department number. I want to insert the PDNO. Now, once your insert query is completed, you can simply write the commit to save the changes into your table. You can just copy this particular code and paste into PLSQL. Now here you can just paste this. So your procedure will be created. Once the procedure is created, now we will insert the record. How we can call this particular procedure. Once the procedure is created, you can call the procedure using execute keyword or you can use the four letter only that is EXEC or you can write execute. So I'm just writing here EXEC that is execute name of your procedure and name of the procedure is employees underscore insert. Now here you can provide the parameter. So I'm just providing here employee number is 1111 name of the employee. For example, the name of the employee is Anand and the job of the employee, for example, professor and salary of the employee, for example, 26,000 and department number of the employee, for example, 20. And now I'm just executing this particular block. Now let me copy this particular code and you can paste over here. So your PLSQL procedure will be successfully completed. Once it is completed, you can simply select your data. You can just write select star from employees. And you will be able to see that the record of Anand is inserted over here. That is four time one Anand professor 26,000 and the department number is 20. So this is the way you can insert the record using the procedure in SQL. Sometimes people say that sir, can we pass a message to the user that the record is inserted? Yes, we can. For example, if you want to pass a message, then you here you can just write dbms underscore output dot put underscore line and here you can just write the message and the message is what record of now I want to write the name of the employee record of parameter employee name and here you can write inserted successfully. So once it is done, you can write here semicolon. Now 
here you can just copy this particular code and you can paste over here. So your procedure will be recreated and procedure will be created. Once the procedure is created, you can insert the another record. For example, now I'm inserting another record, 3112 and the name of the person, for example, Bavik and the designation of the person, for example, manager. And now here you can mention the salary, for example, 36,000 and the department number is 10. Now you can just copy this and you can paste over here. But before executing the procedure, you need to set the server output on. So once you set the server output on, after this, you can execute the procedure. And once you execute the procedure, you will get the message that the record of Bavik is inserted successfully and now whenever you check the data into the table that is select star from employees then you will get the record of Bavik manager 36,010 so this is the way you can create the procedure to insert the record into specific table and you can pass the message to the user also so that's it from my side if you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.